Romans chapter 10 verses 9 through 13 says, That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, there's a lot of new age devils out there that are saying you don't need to pray to be saved. You just believe and therefore you are saved. You declare yourself saved by your belief. Um, okay, well, let me just make a point here. If that's true for eternal salvation, then how all of a sudden is it that these professing New Age Christians all of a sudden start to tell people we need to pray for our nation, we need to pray for this, and we need to pray for that? That makes no sense. So you don't pray to ask God to save you eternally, but you pray to ask God to save you things in your physical life. You see what I'm saying? It makes no sense. Your life of prayer with to the Lord to be saved starts for eternal salvation. You say, Lord, I'm a sinner. Please save me. Romans 10, 9 through 13. I want to go to heaven when I die. I believe that Jesus died and was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. Please, Lord, save me. Ask God to save you, you see. Unless you have too much pride to, to lower yourself enough to ask him for help because you don't feel that you need help. You just, you know, I'll just say I believe, you know, maybe sit cross-legged or something in yoga position or whatever else and uh, I'm saved now because I've believed. No, you, you get saved because you call upon the name of the Lord to be saved and that starts it. And then you say, okay, now, Lord, please help me with the cigarette addiction. Lord, please save me from alcohol addiction. Please save me from pornographic addiction. Please save me from playing these video games all the time. Please save me from watching these wicked movies. Please save me from the rock music addiction. addiction. Please save my job, Lord. I don't know what's happening right now. Please save my health, Lord. My son, my daughter is very sick, Lord. Please save them. The prayer starts at salvation and then it goes throughout your life. Spiritual salvation happens and then your life, physical salvation continues. So why is it that these new age satanic professing Christians say there's no prayer there for eternal salvation. You don't need to pray there, but let's all join together and pray for these other situations. See, it makes no sense. Prayer starts at eternal salvation. That's when you call upon the name of the Lord to be saved. And then that prayer continues throughout your life. We need to have a call to prayer, a very serious prayer war against the wicked people out there. We need to be saved from this tyrannical system that's coming on this earth. Um, but if you're one of these new age uh, belief people, well then stick with it. You believe that Jesus died on the cross to pay for your sins. You don't have to ask God to save you. You don't have to come to him broken or anything else. Just there, I'm saved. Okay. Continue. Please continue in your stupidity. Just go on and say, okay, mm, there, I believe I'm saved now. Um, I, I'm, I'm sick. Uh, there, I, I believe I'm, I'm healed. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, I'm having some problems at work. Uh, there, okay, I believe that uh, I'm no longer having the problems at work. And, and oh, I'm having problems in my marriage. Uh, okay. You know, or however you do it, however you people do it, you know, sitting cross-legged or whatever else, you know, whatever you New Agers do. I'm not a New Ager, um, so I don't, I can't really relate too much to the New Age thing, but um, just, just go on. Don't be a hypocrite. You see, your salvation came through belief only. There's no prayer. Then just live that life. All right. Belief only for salvation. Belief only for salvation. Not belief only for salvation. And now prayer for salvation for the rest of your life. Lord, please save me from this. Lord, please help me with this. You don't need to pray. If you didn't pray to get saved, then don't pray for anything else. You see, it makes no sense. Now, if you're born again, you understand. Prayer starts that relationship. God, please save me. The Lord saves you. And now His Holy Spirit comes in and you start to get grieved about things and you start to say, Lord, 
I really need help with this and I really need help. Please help save me from this addiction or please help me with this or whatever else. The prayer of salvation continues, but the subject changes. Very important to get the difference. So if you're listening to anybody, uh, any of these wicked devils out there, Robert Breaker is one of the more known ones. Um, he's a devil worshiper. Uh, he's not my brother in Christ. Don't You people out there that are constantly writing in the little comments and things, why would you attack your brother? Breaker's not my brother. We preach two different gospels. Okay. Um, he's one of the big ones that, that comes out and says it's there's no prayer for salvation, but there's a whole bunch of other little devils that have their own little cult followings. That all they do is just watch. You're watching me right now. Congratulations. Yes, you get to the live stream. Maybe you ought to cut this part out because I'm being sarcastic or something. Whatever. Watch the little thing there, your little live stream. That's all your life is, little loser. You know, but there's those people there. Uh, don't waste your time on them. If they can't read the plain English of Romans 10, 9 through 13, or if they say, well, it's, it's there, it says that, but that's not for us. It's for a future time period. Uh, if, if they can't get it, that you pray to the Lord and He saves you, and then you pray to the Lord and He saves you throughout your life, saves you from problems after He saves you eternally. Get that? The lost devils won't, but, you know, get it? Uh, if, you, if you can't figure that out, you know, and, and you're going to listen to these people, God help you. God help you. That's going to be it. Thank you for watching.